The play we're going to be looking at in this video is a set play against a zone defense, in this case a 2-3 zone. It's called double. Now double sets up in a typical zone offense set. We've got the point, the one at the top of the key, two and three on the wings, four and five are at the blocks. Double is a play that can be run to either side. It just depends on which wing one passes to first. In the video, it's only going to be run to the right side, so one's going to be passing to two. But because this is a balanced offense, it could be run to the other side. Just the player jobs would have to flip. So as I said, the first move in double is that one passes to the wing. As the ball goes to the wing, the post player on that side, so in this case four, comes up to the high post. So four is coming up to the high post. Ball goes over to two. And now the defense has shifted, and this is what we're really going to take advantage of to get open shots in the offense. So as two catches the ball, four is coming up to the high post. Two is going to take two to three dribbles down towards the baseline to hopefully draw that low defender. One is going to follow and sort of take two's position on the wing for an eventual pass back. So two's dribbling down. The high post player retreats back to the low post. One is following two. And then the next step is going to be for two to pass it back to one and will set in motion the rest of the offense. So what will happen is two will pass it back to one. As two is dribbling down, three should be moving down to the opposite block near five to set up a look for a double screen. That's why we call the play double. Three and five are going to be setting up looking like they're setting a double screen for four. And as the pass goes from two back to one, four needs to be looping on the baseline side around the double screen to the opposite wing. And what happens is as three, four, and five get in essentially a line of three, you know, four is obviously going to be moving, but three and five are set up like it's a double screen. One is going to catch the ball, take two to three dribbles towards the middle to give himself a passing lane. And as soon as four is clearing off of the double screen, three is cutting right in the middle of the lane and five is remaining at the low block. And so what we're trying to do is get the ball back to one. One takes two to three dribbles, gets his passing lane into the middle, kicks it to three for a pass and a shot. So you can see pass to one, three's coming down. And then as one dribbles, four loops out, three cuts the middle. And that is where we're looking to get the ball. Now, there are a bunch of different scoring options off of double. It doesn't just have to be a pass to three. So in this example, we're going to see the same motion. Pass to two, two goes down, four goes down to the low block. Pass back to one, three's coming down for the double screen. And what we will see a lot is that when the ball goes into three, the middle low defender is going to step up and obviously try and prevent three from scoring, which is usually going to leave five just standing at the low block wide open for a lap. So you can see in this case, pass to three, defender comes up, pass to five, and it's a layup. So we've covered. The option to three for the short jumper, we've covered the dump down to five for a layup. This play can also create an open three-point shot for two because, especially if we run it a couple times, the defense will try to collapse on that pass into the middle really quickly. And sometimes the low side defender who's supposed to be covering two will try to rush in to prevent three from getting a shot. When three sees this, he just needs to catch kick it right back out to two who's standing in the low wing short corner area for either about a 15 foot jumper or a three pointer depending on how confident two is also depending on exactly where he picked up his dribble when dribbling down to the baseline so we can see here again over to two four comes up two dribbles down four goes down pass back to one and now in this case one dribbles in you can see the low side defender comes in two is wide open for a shot right there. Two obviously could also catch and try and drive uh, because if the low defenders were to step up and try and stop two's drive, 
either three in the middle or five on the opposite block is likely to be open as well. And then the final look in this play that we can get is also for four to get, again, about a 15-foot jumper or a three-pointer, depending on what type of player four is. So in this example, three and five, setting that double screen really keeps that low defender in the block area. And when four loops out to that opposite wing, four is left wide open. If one sees this because he's really just reading the low three defenders of the defense, if he sees them all stay in, obviously the two high defenders are going to be concentrating on him dribbling. He can It's sort of a skip pass, but just sort of shoot it over the top of the high defender to four for a shot. So again, we see four come up, passes over to two, two goes and dribbles down, four goes down, pass back to one, three's coming down for the double screen. And now in this case, the defender stays in, one skips it over to four, and four has got a shot right there. And again, if four were to catch and drive, the odds are that that low side defender would step up to get the ball, which means that either three in the middle or five in the low block is going to be open again. So double is a set play run against the zone defense. It relies on quick movement of the ball, getting it into the middle, and then just knowing what to do with the ball depending on how the defense tries to play it. So can be very effective if run correctly against his own defense.